I came to Grand Valley because of the exciting things that are happening not only at the university as a whole, but in the Department of Movement Science. Um, I teach history and philosophy of sport and physical education and dance. Um, as far as the dance goes, together with my wife, we teach one of the most popular classes at the university, uh, beginning ballroom dance. My interest in sport studies actually was born from my background as a professional dancer. Uh, while at UCLA doing a master's degree in dance, I served as the graduate assistant to then head coach Larry Brown, and from there went on to be the first full-time ever conditioning coach in the NBA uh, with the Philadelphia 76ers, and happily we won the world championship in 1983. Um, two projects that I'm leading here that are ex incredibly exciting, one is called Sparkle, which stands for Spinning Physical and Renewable Kinetic Living Energy. Um, one of my current research areas is on the relationship between the environment, conservation, and personal health. With Sparkle, we're actually powering elementary classrooms, or helping to power elementary classrooms on bicycle generators. The goal is to teach young children about health and fitness, exercise, and conservation at the same time. Uh, we have bikes in many schools throughout Western Michigan. Uh, we do lecture demonstrations and leave them there for the students to experiment with for two to three weeks. The second project, which is also very timely and exciting, is that I research and study the games of Arctic people. Uh, our family, I, my wife and two beautiful children, we actually lived in the Canadian Arctic in 2001 as part of an earlier sabbatical. And here in Grand Rapids, uh, together with Elizabeth, we're pioneering a curriculum and performance project with the Grand Rapids Public Schools where every grade six students now in Grand Rapids learns about the Inuit and the Canadian Arctic and are also able to share in a performance, a live performance of modern dance that tells a true Inuit survival story um, in the Arctic from some of our research that we've done there. So it's a very exciting time here, and it's very exciting in our department, and the work that uh, I'm doing, I think, is, is timely and so important for the students here at the university. Thank you.